Hi guys! This video is on dichotomous keys and specifically how to use dichotomous keys to identify she's Dichotomous keys use anatomical features, or that really just means the way that an organism looks, to identify what species it belongs to. At each step of the dichotomous key, there's two choices. And you read the two choices, you decide which one best describes the species you're trying to key out, and then you follow the directions that it says on that step. Some things to note as you're using a dichotomous key. First of all, key out one organism at a time. So if you have multiple organisms you're going to key out, you need to pick one of them, key it out all the way to species, then go back um, for another. Another important point is to always start at step one. Always start at the first step. Never skip ahead. Sometimes there's pictures that go with the key, and it's tempting to just kind of try to go ahead and match things up based on the pictures but you can miss really important points in doing that and so it's important to start at step one and take your time going through each step so here's an example of a dichotomous key and for this there are nine different fish that we can key out using this dichotomous key down here there's eight steps to the dichotomous key there's always going to be one fewer step than there are organisms keyed out in it so let's pick one of these fish to key out you can pick it you don't have to go in order um, you can pick any fish to key out so let's pick this cool looking one in the middle <coughs> and so remember we're going to always start at step one it says if the fish shape is long and skinny no, not so much. Let's look at what the second choice is. If the fish shape is not long and skinny, I'd say not long and skinny for that number five in the middle. So, so then go to step three. All right, step three, choice A. If fish has both eyes on top of the head, yeah, I think both eyes are on top of the head. Um, the other option is if one eye is on each side of the head. No, I think they're both on the top, so we're going to go to step four. First choice, if the fish has a long whip-like tail, I think probably so, but let's look at B. If the fish has a short blunt tail, this is definitely long whip-like tail, right? So it is a spotted eagle ray. So we're done. We got we got it keyed out. A lot of times dichotomous keys will have the scientific name. This one just has the common name, the spotted eagle ray. Um, so we're done with that one. Let's do one more. Let's do this cool looking one down here, number nine. So A, if fish shape is long and skinny, yes, I think so. So we go to step two. Two choices here are if the fish has pointed fins or if the fish has smooth fins. Well, let's look at its fins back here. I think they're pretty pointy, right? So we're going to say pointed fins. It's a trumpet fish. So then we're done right there at step two. So depending on which fish you're keying out, you might have to go all the way to step eight, or you might, like this one, be done right at step two. So I'd like for you to now pick two other fish and key them out for practice for tomorrow. And tomorrow in class, we'll get some more practice. And then we're going to um, also learn how to construct a dichotomous key. So again, two fish, pick two fish, key them out, and I'll see you tomorrow.